George Cambosis Jr., congratulations. You tonight become the mandatory challenger for TI Fimo and Lobis's lightweight crown. If it was factoring into your motivation before the fight, how does it feel now? It's yours. Oh, man, I can't get the smile off my face. Like I said, it hasn't sunk in yet, but I dug deep and I won a lot of them rounds. You know, the big shots landed. I felt he was hurt a few times. That's a, that's a former world champion. He defended the belt five, six times. I mean, the guy is, is still a very respected fighter, uh, but a great win. That's two former world champions in their backyards, both on the road. I mean, I'm a warrior. I'm a road warrior. Proud Greek, proud Aussie road warrior. You, as you say, you were certainly landing the eye-catching body shots. Totally took control of the fight in the second half. Did you always feel you were ahead? And when the scorecards were being read out, you were confident it was yeah, yours? I knew I won the fight. I, he just, like I said, he was just going to tap, work the jab, try to get a few shots off, but it was just going to be too strong. I overpower him. But again, the whole time, people thought I was being arrogant. I was never arrogant to him. Just confident, self-belief. I'm a young, hungry lion. Like I said the whole time, I was never arrogant to him. I respected him. Every time I said he was a former world champion, I respect that. But I knew the man I had in front of me, and I knew that the job I would do. I'm just a confident fighter. I back my ability. You had talked about getting Lee out of there. He can be a bag of tricks at times. Was he tougher to pin down in the fight than you could have imagined, perhaps? Look, I felt I hurt him a few times. I felt he nearly went. But um, look, he's an experienced guy. What, five world title fights? One, you know, he's defended the belt so many times. And he beat Ricky Burns in the last fight. I'm a Douglas, good names. Um, I'm the young, hungry guy coming up, so that's a great win. Either way, I said I was prepared for, for 12 rounds, or if I stopped him in the distance, but that's another 12 rounds in my bank, championship rounds. You said everything about Wiesa Savage. You also said that he'd highlighted a lot of holes in his game that he would be able to capitalise on. What can you tell us about what the game plan was from your side and those holes that you had identified you were able to expose tonight? Look, that nice slipping jab was catching him nice. His head was rocking back. The body shots busted him up. The right hand to the body, the stiff jab to the body. Kept folding him over. That was the plan. And then the hooks would come. Early was to take the body out. Slow them legs up and controlled, stay composed. I was very composed. And you know, he was working the jab, but he didn't get too crazy. I'm, I'm coming into maturity now. I feel like I'm in my prime, but there's so much more work to do. I'm coming for the world, for the unified title fight now. TFM my Lopez, there's still two young, hungry fighters, man. Do you feel in some ways this is your big breakthrough night, certainly on the world stage? If the UK fans didn't know the name George Cambosis Jr., they certainly will now, won't they? Like I said, I love the UK fans. I'm upset that the, the supporters weren't here to witness such a, such a good fight, an action-packed fight, and a statement on my butt. I promise I'll come back. I want to fight you again. I hope you love what you saw. I'm sure you will. And um, I hope you open, uh, open your arms to me. Um, and, and I want to come back here and fight in front of the UKs. I hope you follow my journey now and support me. The lightweight division is absolutely booming, isn't it? It's stacked at 135 pounds and a great place to be involved in as a fighter now in your position. It is. And like I said in the press conference, who want to want to be in a division like this? You know, Lee was, you know, such a such a f accoladed fighter, former world champ. Uh, he was number one in the WBO, and not only I'm not number one in the IBF, I should be number one in the WBO too. And I'm inside the top probably two or three now on box trek. I'm mandatory to Fimo Lopez, so I'm up there, baby, I'm up there. I'm beating former world champions, and I said, I want the world champion next. Every fight I improve more and more. I can beat Lopez, and I will beat him. We know how swift the IBF can be with their mandatory, so TFMO Lopez against George Cambosis Jr., you hope we'll have news on that very soon. Yes, Tia, you know what it is. You know where the money is. Come fight me in the land down under. You said you want to come to Australia. Let's do it, man. We fought on the same card in uh, New York, Madison Square Garden. Let's get it on. Two young, hungry lions. I want it. Do you think he would fancy that coming over to Australia? Oh, to I think you? he would love it. I know he wants to come to Australia. Let's do it, man. And uh, just finally, we know how proud you are of your Australian and Greek heritage. Do you have any final messages for your fans supporting you around the world tonight? Look, I know you support me, you know, all the way. And I hope the, the people that read me off a little bit support me now. The comments that I made was taken out of contest a little bit by some certain people, but um, I'm a proud Australia, uh, Australian. I'm a proud, proud Greek, so I've got the flags with me here. I represent you guys all over the world. That's my sixth, seventh fight on the road, fighting all over the world. And I've got my two flags always with me. Let's go. World title. Well, George, you Thank you to my team, my team, my sponsors, my major sponsors, uh, all the sponsors with me, my family, my two kids, my partner, my team, Peter, uh, the Bell Entertainment, my dad, my coach, my whole coaching staff. Oh, man. Javi, yeah. we did it, man. We're ready for, the, for what's next, and that's a world title. Well, you were certainly no nonsense in the build-up, but you backed it up tonight, George, so massive congratulations and enjoy that win. No, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm a confident fighter. I'm not arrogant. I'm confident. Well done, thank George. You.